Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. I hope all of you are doing awesome. So let's take today's question. This episode is sponsored by Linode. Linode provides you the complete cloud infrastructure and set of tools to develop, deploy and scale your modern applications faster and easier using the Linode's Linux virtual machines. You can get all the tools and services for your computing, storage, networking, monitoring, etc. You can sign up at linode.com forward slash automation and get a hundred dollar sixty day credit on your new Linode account. The link is in the description. And the question today I'm taking is from uh, Gigi. I do not know what is the your full name. This is what I get here. And uh, he or she says. Hi Raghav, I just found your channel few days back and finding it very useful for test automation. I want your suggestion regarding one thing. Currently, I am working as iOS developer, but I have two years of UI automation experience. And at this point of time, I really want to go to test automation QA roles, but I hear from many people that it's not a right decision to move to QA from dev role. Can you please suggest? So first thing, thank you for your question and I believe it will be very helpful for a lot of people to select between QA and Dev. Now I think it is very difficult for anybody to say which is better QA or Dev because both of these roles are so, so, so very important and both have a bright future. So I will say that it depends a lot on your interest and your passion. What I can suggest you is. Uh, you look at the career path on both of these fields. You can talk to your peers, your seniors and see what all things you may have to do in both of these paths or career fields from two years, five years, 10 years from now. And then you can decide what appeals more to you. What is your interest? What you are passionate about? I have seen people who have been developing for 10, 15, 20 years. I have seen people 60, 70 years old who are still developing and they find great peace, passion and excitement in doing development. And same goes for QA as well. So nobody can uh, tell you that for you, what is better? You have to decide what interests you. And as I see your question, you are saying that you are more interested in QA automation. So if that is the thing, then there are endless opportunities. There are so many things that you can learn. I can tell you that after being into this field for so many years, I still believe that I know less than 1% and there is so much more to know. So whatever field you are more interested in, you are passionate about, try to find out what exactly you will be doing in two, three, four, five years from now, what all things you have to do if you follow this particular path and then see if this excites you, if this appeals to you, then you can go for it. And of course, I will not uh, weigh these option based on the monetary benefits because I always believe that if you ha really have passion on one particular thing, you will anyways find a lot of ways to on and it will not matter a lot in the long run. So with that, I will end it here. And if you want your question to be featured in the next episode of Ask Raghav, you can write in the comments below this video and I will take your question. I hope you will take good care of yourself and never stop learning.